Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. I am the author of this text, A Short Guide to Action Research. It is the fourth edition. We're going to look at chapter one, science, research, and teaching. Science is a process that humans use to examine and organize the world around us. Scientists are anyone who asks a question and then uses data to answer that question. Science, the process, uses perceived reality to determine what is believed to be true. Scientists use data to determine their beliefs. Pseudoscientists use their beliefs to determine what is reality or what data is perceived. We want to be scientists. We want to perceive reality and use that to determine our beliefs. We do not want to be pseudoscientists who start with an idea or a belief and then only look for that data which reconfirms that belief system. Research. Scientific knowledge is a body of knowledge that is generated by research. Research is any systematic inquiry used to collect data to answer questions. Now, there is not one scientific method with control and experimental groups. There are many different methods. There are as many different types of methods as there are questions. So the different research methods provide different ways to view reality. This big idea, there's no such thing as the scientific method. There are methods of science. Quantitative research, we're going to just take a brief overview, is where the researcher takes an active role to try to isolate a variable, sets up this artificial world. And a variable is a quality or condition about which the researcher wants to draw conclusions. I want to find out if this causes that. So the goal of experimental research is to figure out the effect of a particular or approach or a treatment. I want to see the effect of this, so I'm going to compare them, control everything else except that and that. So the researcher controls all extraneous variables to create an environment that isolates one particular variable. So you can say without any hesitation that that causes that. That is an overview. Independent variable, the treatment or factor that the researcher manipulates to determine a particular effect. That's independent of anything else. The dependent variable, it's dependent on the treatment, is the result or effect of that treatment. Treatment groups are the subjects, participants exposed to the treatment, and a control group similar to treatment group but not exposed to the treatment, and it's used for comparison. The research question is the basis of research in quantitative research. It's what the researcher hopes to answer. A hypothesis is a tentative statement that is supported or not by the results of the experiment. I'm conducting this experiment not to prove or disprove anything, but to support or a hypothesis or not support it. A theory is a way to explain a set of facts. It's an interrelated set of concepts used to explain a body of data. And here's the thing about theories. As new information is uh, uncovered, theories are designed to change, to evolve, or even to go away. Qualitative research uses a systematic observation again, but it's used to understand the world as it is, not to set up artificial worlds. It does not manipulate conditions in order to isolate variables because that wouldn't be a real world. It does not try to prove or disprove hypothesis. Rather, the goal is to come to an understanding. It allows for flexibility during the data collection processes, and a variety of data are collected. In quantitative research, you are very specific and you only look for one thing. Qualitative research allows for a little bit more of a broader view. Is one better than the other? No. The type of research is dependent on the type of questions that you ask. Each is used to answer different types of questions. Action research most often is aligned with qualitative research, but not always. There are places for quantitative research. And part one.